Hi, this is Bill with Galveston Cruise Reviews. It is December 2019 and I'm on the Carnival Dream and I want to take you on a quick tour of Ocean Suite 7330. Let's go in. One of the first things I notice as you walk inside is that nice wooden floorway I just showed you and it does a lot to add to the ambiance of the room. Also, when I first check into a cruise ship room, one of the first things that I look at is where can I plug in my devices and there is good news and bad. The bad news is that there are only two regular plugs. One is right there, although they've got both the US style outlet and the European style outlet. And then, as you go into this dressing room, there's a second plug. So that may not be enough plugs to power your devices, but there's really, really good news too. And that is, if you're using a USB cable, you have eight additional plugs. There are two in the base of each of the four lamps in the room. Let's go back to the entrance of the room though to spend a little bit more time looking at the room itself. As immediately to your left as you enter the cabin, there's a small dressing area and that's a bonus feature I didn't know that I got with this cabin. It'd be great if somebody needs to use the bathroom and you still need a private space to get dressed. You could also potentially use it as a workspace or a makeup space or a whatever it is you need space, but it is a really, really nice extra space to have. As you go into it, there is storage in those drawers as well as an excellent closet. Plenty of space to hang my things and they included two robes. Now those aren't mine to take home, of course, but it's excellent to have to use on board. And then, on this side is additional storage with shelves that lights up when I open it. As you go into the bathroom, one of the great benefits of a suite on Carnival is that you get a tub. That's excellent when you're traveling with kids, and even if you're not. If you're in a regular stateroom, what you get is simply a shower. This allows you a whole, whole lot more space. In order to cut down on the use of single-use plastics, Carnival has started to provide dispensers of bath soap and shampoo instead of having the individual bottles of things. They do, however, have individual bar soap at the sink. Speaking of, there are dual sinks in this cabin, which is great when you're trying to save space to get ready. There's also a whole lot of storage for your things and plenty of towels. Going back out into the main part of the cabin now, This work desk, spa desk space is really nice. It'd be more important if I intended to work, but it's a great place to sit and to be able to type on your laptop or to write notes, write letters, do whatever it is you need to do. It's also a convenient storage space. Because I'm in a suite, two bottles of water were included. There were more that would be available to purchase, but those bottles of water are great when you've had a hot day outside or when you maybe had a little bit too much to drink at the bar. That's the TV. I've, it's actually got very good sound quality. I've been impressed with the number of channels. There is additional storage. And there's a safe where I keep my passport and the money I take to the casino. In this closet is yet more storage. And that's one of the things I really, really love about the suite, right? There's plenty of places to put my things and the storage lights up when I open it. There's a couch. I'm not quite sure what the material is. It, it feels a little funny, but it's soft, it's comfortable, and that chair is a great space to sit and read my book. My bed, while I wasn't real impressed with the couch, the bed was incredibly comfortable. I slept this morning until I started getting messages on my phone. It was great, and I should have put my phone in airplane mode, but I really enjoyed the bed comfort on this cabin. That is nice. Now, because it is a suite, I get my own private balcony space, and that has been amazing. I've sat out here several times. As you walk out onto the balcony and turn left, there is one lounger. There's not enough space on this balcony to put two side by side. The balcony's wide, but it's not terribly deep, so one person could lay out here and sleep. Also, as we go back to the other side of the balcony, there are two chairs and a table. I've sat out there several times with my book to have cocktails, and that has been fantastic. So let's go back inside the cabin real quick.
it is only the second day of the cruise, so it's the first full day, the first sea day. Both last night and this morning, my room steward has been making towel animals, and that's fun, right? I like to see that. Um, I appreciate the extra effort, and also it's just kind of a, it's a, a pretty thing when I come back in my cabin. So again, this is an ocean suite on the Carnival Dream. It is cabin 7330, and it's December 2019. If this video has been helpful to you, we would love it if you would like it and hit subscribe to Galveston Cruise Reviews. You can also visit us at galvestoncruisereviews.com. Thanks so much, and happy sailing.